I'm Ezra Raya, and this is the Manila Times. Four policemen have been convicted for homicide by the Caloocan Regional Trial Court for the killing of Luis and Gabriel Bonifacio, a father and his son, part of the thousands of victims of the bloody drug war that had been the centerpiece of former President Rodrigo Duterte's rule from 2016 to 2022. Police officers Virgilio Cervantes, Arnel de Guzman, Johnston Alacre, and Artemio Saguros have been sentenced up to 10 years in prison and were ordered to pay 400,000 pesos each in damages to the victim's heir. The sentence would have been higher had they been charged for murder. The victim's wife and mother, Mary Ann Domingo, insisted that her partner and son were not in any way involved in drugs and were unarmed when the police raided their home in the Manila slums on a tokang or drug bust operation on September 15 of 2016. Meanwhile, the International Criminal Court or ICC investigations has been underway. A human rights group of lawyers swore to claim justice for more victims of the drug war. Here to tell us more is National Union of People's Lawyers, NUPL, Secretary General for NCR, Attorney Christina Conti. Welcome to the Manila Times, Attorney. Attorney, okay. first of all, we'd like to commend NUPL for their victory and in claiming justice for the victims of the drug war. Luis and Gabriel Bonifacio. Mom, tell us about this case and how many criminals or suspects have been brought to justice for the drug war? Well, on the part of NUPL, only four. This is the only case that we have been able to put forward after careful consideration of, of up to 200 cases of killing. Ganun kahirap. Uh, mag-ayos, mag-buo uh, ng kaso. Uh, sa tokhang killings. And mind you, uh, the work that we provide, uh, pro bono as it is, is uh, dedicated already to this kind of um, um, incident. Extrajudicial killings related to the uh, war on drugs. So, uh, I, as far as I know, we have four. Um, in other cases, up to around, I would say, uh, 10 other, oh, sorry, six other um, police officers have been convicted. According to the NBI, there are 400 other cases under review, possibly in court. But as to the total number of police, uh, I don't think anybody's keeping track. Mom, let's be honest, Pono, most of the victims of the bloody drug war are belong below the poverty line. And uh, just for those who don't know, NUPL provides these legal services for free. Is that correct, ma'am? Yes, uh, for free. Uh, but we tie up with an organization called Rise Up for Life and for Rights. And, well, initially, actually, when you're a victim, the, these legal issues, legal cases are at the back of your mind. I mean, you don't need a lawyer to bury the dead, right? So this comes for some people as an afterthought and for others as a primary motivation in getting, in putting together their documents. Uh, karamihan dun sa mga biktima, wala yung dokumento, hindi niya alam kung nangyari. And NUPL is there to help them go through uh, the procedures, the processes on how to secure these documents Eventually, when we come to an agreement and when we vet the cases as possible for filing, and with that, it means you they would have to know who is who are the perpetrators, and second, that there is evidence against these perpetrators. Only then can we mount the case. And so, very few of these of the families, as you mentioned, uh, even as we think of them as a perfect victim, they are uneducated or they are uninformed about their rights, primarily, and second, about the processes. Uh, they are those who really don't have access to justice. Kaya itong free bayan na legal services, that's the least of their worries. Thankfully, we have supporters uh, from the church and from other groups who have helped us along the way. So the Domingo family's lawyer, ma'am, si attorney... Uh... Juliano Oliva, right, ma'am? And you said there only have been four convicted 
from out, out of over 200 cases that you have considered. So right now, ma'am, this is a victory already as uh, those policemen have been convicted. Uh, are there any other pending cases that the NUPL is handling right now about the drug war? Uh, so Attorney Median Iliva Jr. is the chairperson of NUPL NPR, my chapter, and we handled this case together. Wala na kaming iba pang nakasalang, kumbaga. Uh, there are some other cases up for review or for vetting, for filing. Unfortunately, uh, we're thinking of uh, other avenues as well. Uh, so unfortunately, there might not be any further domestic cases to be filed. No more domestic cases to be filed towards uh, victims of... As of now. As of, uh, as of now. Uh, uh, domestic cases filed against perpetrators of extrajudicial killing. Mom, what do you think? Uh, can uh, the victims still uh, claim justice? Even uh, it's been so long na po, ano? For example, um, si uh, Ma'am Mary Ann Domingo, uh, the murder of her partner and her son was back in 2016. So can victims still claim justice about of uh, how many years after the crime has been committed? Well, yes. And if you claim that if we charge, if you understand this crime to be murder, 20 years ang tinatawag na prescription period. Uh, that is the time where wherein you can file, mull things over, uh, consider, reconsider if you would like to pursue charges of murder. Um, as to in general, um, is there still hope? Is there, is there still a chance? I would say yes. I wouldn't give a prescription period to hope and the possibility of justice. There are other cases that you can um, consider. And there are other um, relief that you cannot find in court. Kapag iniisip kasi ng tao na, ay, kailangan kong pumunta ng korte para sa justicia. Uh, minsan, tali ka na doon. And when we talk about the courts, there's prescription periods, there's what kind of cases, which courts, domestic courts, international courts, international tribunals, etc. Uh, but if you think of it on a larger scale, how do we afford or give relief to the victim um, even outside of the court? Then you can have a more expansive view of how uh, justice can be served. Does the NUPL uh, seek to help more victims from the bloody drug war, mom? Well, yes. Uh, the organization that we are partners with, the National, the Rise Up for Life and for Rights, it's a coalition. It's a group of church workers who were initially tapped or were approached because of the uh, urgent need of the victims. Kasi sa unang pangangailangan mo, paano mabawi yung katawan mula sa puneraria, paano maibibing. Material doon ang church uh, workers. Uh, they have been. They have provided social, uh, psychosocial support as well. They have provided, um, uh, natin, non-material, uh, support and strength to the families left behind. Um, for them, I would say for the for the other victims, I would say that it would be more helpful if they were to approach organized groups already. What's the name of the church, mom, that had been your partner? Bro? Uh, it's not a church. It's a church group. So Rise Up for Life and for Right. All right. Thank you so much, mom. And lastly, what is the NUPL's message to all the other victims that had not claimed justice yet, not just for the drug war, but other human rights violations? Hindi uh, tapos. Actually, for all I know, it's just starting. We've had three known um, prosecutions. There are 6,252 dead from official police operations. There could be up to 30,000 killed in the context of the war on drugs in the Philippines. And this is just a drop in the bucket. Parang ganun lang. Um, the government said that they're investigating some cases up to 52. Uh, let's say even up to 300 as the DOJ uh, maintained. And up to 400 as the NBI said. Still konti pa lang. Kaya hindi pa tapos ang laban. Uh, for everything put all together, what's important is that we realize that these victims are people, are Filipinos, and that they deserve mercy, they deserve due process, and they deserve our sympathy as well. 
Very well said, Ma'am Attorney Christina. Thank you so much. And UPL, National Union of People's Lawyer Secretary General, Attorney Christina Conti. Maraming salamat. For NCR. NCR. Yeah. Thank you, Ma'am.